I'm Scott Naylor from Consort Motorhomes and I'd like to show you our reef model uh, and some of the key features that helped win uh, the reef uh, van conversion of the year 2021. So if you'd like to come in and have a look, um, the first thing that you'll see uh, in the front of the van obviously is the driver, uh, the driver in the passenger seat. Um, it's important that when you have uh, swivel seats that they swivel completely round. You may see some seats that kind of swivel to about there uh, but these seats fully swivel. Uh, you can see here also uh, we've raised the floor. Uh, if you don't raise the floor when you sit in the uh, driver or the passenger seat then you, you, your feet will be kind of dangling in the air so it's important that this uh, area at the front of the van has a raised floor. Uh, that will also allow you to have uh, a table um, and this then creates a very comfortable um, breakfast area or a sitting area, particularly important if one of you is getting up a little bit earlier than the other uh, or going to bed a little bit earlier. It gives you this dual zone and it also means that if the weather's good uh, you've got scope to leave the bed up almost like a fixed bed and you've still got somewhere to sit. So swivel seats, uh, completely swivel, uh, the other important aspect of course, and this is something that really is important and that this upright here uh, is sufficiently far enough for the bulkhead and this allows not just the seat to swivel but it also means that when the seat does swivel round um, you can actually get the rake back on the seat and this is particularly important for anybody over 5 foot 10 because if this bulkhead is too far forward then it will render the vehicle uh, undrivable effectively for, for anybody over that kind of height. So watch out for the bulkhead, make sure that there's sufficient space in this area here and that will allow you to swivel the seat very easily to create this dual zone. So the first uh, tick in the box if you like is this nice diner area, both seats that swivel. Uh, above the cab area we've got storage for uh, the two tables, we've got a large dining table and we've also got a little drinks table. This drinks table works uh, in the front of the van and it also works in the back. Uh, so that's very handy and that storage uh, on top of the bulkhead there uh, means that the table stow very easily away. So if we move around the van, um, when we look at this area here, this, this area is usually used for the fridge and the wardrobe. And generally what you'll find is that the fridge is on the bottom and the wardrobe is on the top. Um, which makes it very difficult to get in and out of the fridge in this bottom area here. So we found that to create the easy access to the fridge, uh, when you're in and out of the fridge, it's much easier to do it at this level than it is to do it uh, below when you're on your hands and knees trying to load the fridge or get access to the fridge. So that's an important design feature. You know. The, the fridge is at a user friendly height and the wardrobe and there's a huge wardrobe here there's all sorts of space in there um, that area there can be used for folded garments or it can be used uh, we, we also do that with a hanging rail as well so heaps of wardrobe storage under the fridge uh, and that storage goes way beyond into that cavity below this raised floor um, so that's the front area and some key features there uh, that work very well. So I'm going to take you around now into the kitchen area. Uh, what we've been able to do here is uh, break down this storage, um, this kitchen storage here. Um, the first thing that you will also know is that the oven is situated in this ventilated area here. On some van conversions you may find that the the oven is kind of literally in the lounge so if you are cooking then all the spits and spots go into that uh, into your lounge area so uh, we've positioned the oven well away from the lounge in this really well ventilated area here uh, so that if you are cooking the smells and steam ventilate through the hecky 
and also this uh, open space here. It also makes it easier to bend down in this area here than kind of bend down in the galley. So that's an important feature. Oven in this well ventilated area here. Uh, you've got the three burners, you've got the grill, you've got the full oven. Underneath here we've got this huge what we call a pantry drawer. Uh, which is great for cereals, crisps, tin product, all that kind of stuff. So heaps of storage for your, for your food. This little flip down here is ideal for your washing up uh, stuff, your bin liners, that kind of thing. We've got then a cutlery drawer. Then we've got a stove here for your crockery uh, and utensils and that kind of thing all in these little candy holes there and then under here plenty of space for your Ingenio pans which fit beautifully in that area at the bottom there so all your kitchen stuff where you would expect to find it uh, above here then you've got this huge cupboard which is great for your kettle and your tea and coffee and that kind of thing so everything again where you would expect it to be to hand uh, for your kitchen one of the things that uh, we've also managed to do to extend the kitchen is to have this flip that comes down here. Uh, we also have another flip that comes up at this side and that combined with the table uh, at that end really gives this kitchen uh, some extra work surface. Initially you might think that that's the only work surface but in reality you've also got this side assist table to the uh, hob and oven and you've also got this uh, flip down here which works particularly well with our integrated draining system uh, this little lid sits on top of the sink uh, and that then uh, creates a little trough uh, and when you are washing your uh, when you're putting your drying your pots in there then that will all sit and, and drain into that um, the sink's big enough for a domestic size washing up bowl which is another really nice feature you'll see sometimes these, these huge sinks and uh, you know th there's no scope or tiny sinks there's no scope for a, for a washing up bowl so washing up bowl drainer drainer tray that all sits neatly on there that flips out of the way and that flips out of the way there as well so this kitchen uh, really does do everything that you need it to do uh, and you've got all the adequate uh, storage that you need in, the, in there as well. So moving through into the lounge area uh, one of the first things that you'll see is that this is a huge wrap round U-shaped lounge. Um, that does two things, it allows you to sit with your back up against this uh, the back of the vehicle. Uh, it also has this uh, shaped shelf which uh, is great if you want to put your uh, charge your phone or you want to put a cup of tea or a drink on here. This extra work surface here um, really does give you uh, you know that, that, that extra bit of space and storage for you for your stuff on the back there. Your blinds, fly screens as on all windows, so that's standard throughout. Um, the other important thing here is that the height of the back cushions is where you would expect them to be. So you've got this really comfortable uh, sitting area here. Watch out for the really short back cushions uh, they will be uh, you know very uncomfortable so we've made these that the, the right height on there the other thing that we've been able to do again as you can see huge amount of storage not just on the side uh, but all the way around the back this is all free storage and in a van conversion we need to optimize that space so great amount of easily accessible storage on the back and all the way down the side as well so the lounge area, very, very comfortable, feet up lounging. The other point to note is that this upstand here um, will stop the cushions falling out when you open the back, uh, the back doors. This is all uh, upholstered on the back here, so it feels very motorhome rather than camper van. 
so that gives this a really cosy feel right at, right at the back of the, of, of the van here. And of course the doors open so that you can have the, the breeze running through the van. Uh, this area here will stop, this upright here will stop the back cushions falling out and it will also act as a headboard when the uh, when this is made into a bed which we'll show you shortly uh, so it means that you're not sleeping with your head up against the back of uh, the van doors so again that's another nice feature of this uh, area here so again you've got your table poles there a uh, table pole which will take your small and uh, large table in this area so that you can create a nice uh, dining area or a drinks area as well. What I'd like to do now is, is take you around the back of the vehicle because there is a byproduct of this uh, wrap round lounge and the byproduct of the wrap round lounge is not only does this give you this really nice cosy lounge uh, and scope to have this extra storage above here but it also creates a really big boot space uh, so I'm going to show you the boot space under here um, and I'm also going to show you how quickly this bed goes together because that is another key feature of this conversion. So if we open the back doors here uh, we can uh, see this huge boot area. Uh, really important uh, for all your outdoor stuff. So you've got scope to fit some decent sized chairs, reclining chairs in there. You've got space for your chocks. Uh, this extra space up here will take hookup cables, it will take water carriers, your toolbox, little tool bag, all that kind of stuff will store above there. So there's heaps of space in there for your chairs, um, your barbecue, that kind of thing. That all sits in there, so really handy. Uh, storage and that's one of the key things that you need to be looking out for in a van conversion you need that big boot uh, especially if you're coming from a coach built uh, you do need space for all your outdoor stuff uh, and also this is a wet area here it's like a garage wet area so there's uh, there's no problem with throwing wet boots and wet equipment in the back of there so that uh, boot area works particularly well so one of the first things that people ask often is how easy is the bed to put up? So I'll show you just how quickly and how easily this bed uh, comes together. So we've got these two easy glide panels that slide out across to there and meet on the other side. This one sits on there, that cushion sits on there and this cushion sits in the middle here. So the bed goes together really quickly. We reckon around about 10 or 15 seconds to put the bed up. So very straightforward. And, and then in reverse in the morning, this cushion sits on there. That cushion then goes back onto this side. And then these just slide back very, very easily back into there. So really, really simple bed system that goes together really quickly without a lot of fuss. And then of course in this area here, under here, we've got all this storage where you would be able to store your bedding. So that bed system works really, really well. So the washroom is very, very straightforward. You have the Thetford cassette bench loo across there. We've got a separate shower in the reef, a separate shower tap. And then we have the tip down basin. Uh, which comes down to give you a nice big user friendly wash basin and, and then uh, a nice cabinet that opens on there as well. So very very simple solid shower tray, basin that tips down and the Thetford loo uh, across the bench so this wet room effectively um, can wipe down after you've had your shower. Very importantly we've got a huge hecky in here which gives you lots of ventilation. So that's a really important feature on a van conversion.